What if I told you that Mr. Beast can hit 500 million subscribers in just one year? You might be thinking that's bigger than the population of America, and in one year, there's just no way. In fact, here's Mr. Beast himself explaining how impossible one fifth of that is. The time it would take for 27 channels to hit 100 million subscribers would honestly be close to when I'm about to die. No one's gonna hit 100 million subscribers within the next 30 years. But after hours of research, I think I figured out a solid blueprint for him to get to this massive number. In this video, I'll go over the six ways for Mr. Beast to achieve half a billion subscribers, including the most dramatic, the most risky, and the most obvious. We'll start with what is the most obvious step, which is to keep dropping banger videos as he's doing currently. According to Mr. Beast statistics on Twitter, he's gaining 250,000 subscribers every single day. At this rate, he will hit 277 million in a year. But because of the exponential growth that creators tend to experience, the website Social Blade says that he's on track to hit 304 million this time next year. Well, we still have a massive 200 million to cover. It would take a crazy amount of dedication and planning to overcome this gap. But while researching for this video, Mr. Beast tweeted out a crazy plan that would absolutely change the trajectory of his channel. You see, he's uploading pretty infrequently as of recording this video, about once every three weeks or so. But he said he is currently stockpiling videos so that starting in October, he can upload every single week. You might think they would suffer in quality, but Mr. Beast has assured that they are still gonna be bangers, and I'll hold him on his word for that. If he does this, it will dramatically improve his channel growth. He can pretty much triple his daily sub gains eventually, and doing some math, I found that he can add an extra 92 million subs to his tally. This brings his total to 396 million, and any nerds out there watching this, feel free to check over the math in the description. Alright, so now we're at this mind-boggling number, which is greater than how many times you blink in 60 years. So we're dealing with unimaginable numbers right now. But when I was watching him hang out with PewDiePie in Japan, I realized that he still has room to grow his audience. Early in his career, Jimmy experienced a massive boom in his channel by keeping T-Series from overtaking Felix. Fast forward to today, it looks like history is repeating itself, except this time, it's Mr. Beast who is fighting for the top spot. As he approaches closer and closer to becoming number one, I'm sure other creators are gonna try to capitalize on this opportunity, just like Jimmy did back in the old days by helping PewDiePie beat T-Series. The entire YouTube community can band together in order to help Mr. Beast, a homegrown YouTuber who started off by making Minecraft videos in his bedroom. I'm gonna show you how to grief a world without getting caught. Take the crown from a corporate media giant. PewDiePie gained almost 30 million subscribers in the span of 6 months from October 2018 to April 2019. So from all the hype about Jimmy officially becoming the king of YouTube, I'm estimating that he can also gain an extra 30 million subs from this entire situation. From this estimate, we now have have him at a staggering 426 million, a mere one year out from today. But we still haven't touched on something that is fundamentally changing the platform. Of course, I am talking about YouTube Shorts. Everywhere I look now, people are scrolling away on TikTok Reels or Shorts. It's a relatively easy way to rack millions of views, and for the YouTube master himself, this is an absolute cheat code waiting to be used. And yes, he has already uploaded a few already. If you beat me, I'll donate $100,000 to charity. As well as many more on his second channel. And the result speak for themselves. Out of the dozen shorts on his main channel, he averages an insane 300 million views, with his most viral getting almost a billion. The potential here is incredible, and assuming only 1 in 500 short viewers subscribe, he can gain an extra 600,000 subs per short. Do this 50 times, which is about once a week for a year, and we have an extra 30 million subs, putting him at 456 million. Now it seems like we can't get much more than this, and here is where we really start pushing the boundaries of YouTube. So the next two strategies are pretty much uncharted territory. To say that they are risky and unrealistic would be an understatement. But it's fun to speculate about someone like Mr. Beast who literally blows people's minds for a living. Like that one time he broke the app store by releasing finger on the app. Simply put your finger on your phone and be the last one remaining to win 100 grand. Sounds simple enough, right? However, this project was met with significant backlash as many users reported glitches, missing out on the chance to win a life-changing amount of money. But hold on a second, even though this project was not the most well received, I think mobile games like these with large cash prizes have a huge amount of potential. For example, he can make an app similar to Flappy Bird where the last one remaining wins a huge amount of money. And of course, you have to be subscribed to the channel to participate. Wait, why stop there? Maybe he can drop another app that literally pays you to subscribe, such as $1. 
He can also do affiliate marketing, allowing you to send a link to your friends so you both get paid. Yes, this might get really expensive as you would probably have to pay millions of dollars, but he can try to find a sponsor or simply adjust the prices later on. Without uploading a single video, I think this is an effortless way to get eyeballs on his YouTube empire. Let's assume that making apps like these will land him 25 million subscribers, which puts him almost at our finish line at 481 million. Alright, so we're actually pretty close, but we still need to close the gap, right? How about buying a Super Bowl ad, making it really clever and memorable while plugging his channel in the ad? A 5 second ad costs a million dollars, which I think he can afford if he cuts back on his budget a little bit. I mean, the guy spends 15 million dollars a month on his content at this point, and this investment will at least partially pay off as new viewers could become regulars on his channel. Seeing a typical Mr. V spectacle on the biggest TV event in America will definitely get people talking and get him featured on the news, which is helpful for the older generation as many of them may still be unaware of who he is. Let's say that he gets 20 million subs from this gimmick, which finally puts us over the 500 million mark in what could very well be the craziest year in internet history. It's easy to be skeptical of unbelievably large milestones, especially just one year down the road. But if I learned anything from the past 5 years, just ask this guy.